Hello, this is Uncle Sam, and I have returned to update my video series on playing Major League Soccer in Football Manager. I'm a fan of Major League Soccer in real life. I follow the Houston Dynamo as a supporter, but I, I, I enjoy watching the league in general. And so I thought I would kind of bring my insight as a true fan of the league to the FM community. Uh, I know there's a lot of fans who try to start games in Major League Soccer on Football Manager and they quickly become frustrated because they don't understand the rules. They don't, because it is very, very different. It, there is, Major League Soccer is very unique uh, in, the, in the global market of football. And so I thought I would try and help everybody to kind of understand a little bit uh, about how MLS works and how because the the truth is, is that SI have while it's not perfect they've done a great job in rep in creating a realistic representation of Major League Soccer in Football Manager and so I I just thought I would kind of help um, those of you who might be interested because I I en I enjoy Major League Soccer in real life and I also enjoy it in Football Manager it's it's a unique challenge it's it's very difficult it's the um, when I play in leagues outside MLS in Football Manager, it almost kind of becomes boring because I'm able to you know sort of build my squad, and within two or three years, I'm pretty much dominating the league, dominating the continent, and so Major League Soccer, it's very difficult to build a consistent dynasty, and maintaining that dynasty is at least in my opinion is a much greater challenge than it is in other leagues around the world and so it is fun and so i would thought i would help those of you who are not familiar with major league soccer to learn how to to play it and enjoy it in football manager so first thing let me start by saying that there's not a great deal different about fm about sorry mls and fm 2019 from 2018 but there are a few updates and i thought i would kind of help um, with this video series to, to just to briefly go through what is different. So uh, we'll start with part one of my video series. We'll look at the, the format of Major League Soccer. Uh, this is the 2018 alignment. Uh, this is right away you see something that's a little different about MLS from other leagues around the world, and that is it's not a single table. The table is split uh, geographically. You have the Western Conference, and there's the 12 clubs listed there. And then on the right, you see the Eastern Conference and the 11 clubs that play in the East in, in 2000, the 2018 season. And this is accurate. This is how it is in real life. In 2019, FC Cincinnati joins the league. And that's another kind of unique component about MLS from leagues around the world is that you see expansion. The league expands. And right now, they're in a pretty constant state of expansion. So, um, and one of the kind of the interesting parts about the FCC expansion is that because they actually joined the league at the end of 2018, at the, at the end of the calendar year, SI was able to get that expansion into the game. So this is by default. Uh, FC Cincinnati joins the league at the end of 2018. They, you have an expansion draft, and we'll cover that uh, later in the video series. And but this is and you see them here in the Eastern Conference that does kind of balance the table a little bit 12 teams in each league as you can see and I also said that MLS right now is in a in a pretty constant state of expansion and so in 2020 in real life you actually have two more clubs joining the league um, David Beckham's Inter Miami club will be joining and also there'll be an MLS team from Nashville joining I have there in, in the graphic in front of you Nashville SC. Nashville SC is a real-life club. They play in the United Soccer League, which is the second division of U.S. soccer. However, it's not for certain yet that Nashville SC is going to be their branding. It, they, may, um, it may, they may have a whole different name and logo. However, just for the purposes of this video, I went ahead and put it in as Nashville SC. But that's what the league in real life will look like in 2020. In the game, in Football Manager, that expansion will not be a, a part of the default game, meaning Inter Miami and Nashville will not join if you're just using the default rules. However, uh, I do actually have a an expansion pack uh, database available that does include this expansion, and all all of the real life rules are still intact in in my update, and I'll make sure to put a link to that in the comments section or in the video description 
after the video is over. But that is that kind of shows you how much. And actually, there's a, in 2021 they're adding a, a 27th team in Austin FC, and that is set to be announced um, soon. At least as as of the shooting as a recording of this video. So that's the alignment. How is the regular season formatted? Well, they play 34 matches. That means obviously they're not playing every team in the league twice. As you have 21, I'm sorry, 23 teams in 2018, that would mean 46 matches. So they don't play every team twice, but they do play every team in the conference at least twice and every team in the opposite conference at least once. Now, obviously in 2018, it, it, that does not make for 34 matches, so they're having to play a couple of extra matches against teams in their conference. But whatever the case, 34 matches is how many matches they will play. They also The regular season will take place early March. It's actually the first weekend in March, all the way through late October when you'll have the playoffs begin. The regular season, they compete for the Major League Soccer Supporter Shield. This is the team who has the most points in the entire league. When they add up all the points from all 34 matches for the regular season, whoever has the most wins the Supporter Shield and gets an automatic entry into the CONCACAF Champions League, which is very similar to the UEFA Champions League. It's, it's the equivalent for North American, Central American, and Caribbean clubs. The uh, To qualify for the playoffs, which this is another... Uh, another part of Major League Soccer that's different from leagues around the world is there is a postseason. It's one of those one of those things that we have to have here in America. We have to have a playoff to decide our champion. And the way it kind of works, in 2018, the top two teams in each conference advance to the conference semifinal. Now, starting in 2019, only the conference champions are going to automatically advance. In 2018, the third through sixth place finishers advance to the wild card round. That, of course, is so that you have the third through sixth. They'll play off to try to join the top two teams in each conference. In 2019, they're actually expanding the playoffs so that the seventh place team will also advance. So they'll also qualify for the playoffs. And so that's why only the conference champion automatically advances to the semifinal. And so that's the that's the basic format of the playoffs. So this is kind of how it would look in 2018. You see those top two finishers would advance to the semifinal, while the third through sixth go to a, a one-off playoff to try to make it to the semifinal. And 2000 starting again starting in 2019, only the conference winners of each conference will automatically advance to the semifinal, while the second through seventh place teams go to that one-off wild card. So the way it kind of also works, well, one thing to also note is that there is no promotion or relegation in the United States soccer, at least not automatic. Um, there's a If you want to be promoted to MLS, there is a process that you have to go through that doesn't really have anything to do with your on-field performance. Major League Soccer playoffs, this is kind of, this is how it would look. Uh, this is a, a look at the bracket, the 2018 bracket. You see number one and number two into the semifinal, um, whereas the thir third place through sixth place will have that one-off playoff to try to join the top two teams in the semifinal, conference semifinals. And and then you just have, that, that's your tree. Now, obviously in 2019, again, it adds a seventh team to the playoffs. And so that's how it would look. Um, another thing to note, and this is the basic format of the playoffs, wild card round, one leg, played at the higher seed. So whoever had the best record in the, um, whoever had the most points during the regular season gets to host. And then the conference semifinal, it's two legs, with the second leg played at the higher seed. However, then the league just recently announced this. In 2019, only one leg for the conference semifinal and the final, and it will be played at the higher seed. So the whole competition is a one-off knockout um, competition uh, with the with the highest seed playing playing as the host. And the MLS Cup final, one leg played at the team with the most points during the regular season. Uh, and one more one more thing to add to our to the format of Major League Soccer is the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. This is the national cup of the United States. It's a lot like the FA Cup in England, for those of you who are familiar with that. Um, it is um, open to professional, semi-pro, and amateur clubs. Uh, all of the professional teams are automatically entered into the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. 
whereas the semi-pro and the amateur clubs do have to go through a qualification process. MLS teams will enter in the fourth round, and the winner of the Open Cup automatically earns a berth to the CONCACAF Champions League. So that is the format of Major League Soccer and Football Manager 2019. In the next video, I'm going to break down a little bit about the MLS squad or the roster breakdown. So make sure that you click on the links to the next video, and I will see you then.